speaking of the life of Johnny O'Keefe as we are tonight with the new book that's out, Phil, I thought it might be appropriate to get one of the old Deltones on the line and Pee Wee Wilson, our mate, is there. Oh, no one better. Hi, Pee Wee. Hi, fellas. How are you? Did you did you work with Johnny very much in those days, Pee Wee? We certainly did, particularly in the early days, because we did most of his backup vocals, uh, harmony vocals, not only on record, but on many, many of his live performances. So we, we learned a lot from John. And there was a lot to be learned from him, you know. He was a charismatic and a wonderful performer, both on record and, of course, on stage in particular. Uh, he was he was very, uh, well, he'd be the first of our rock and roll stars, but very raw, wasn't he, in those early days? Yes, well, the whole, the whole business was very raw in the first wave of Australian pop, as you know, guys. And, and um, really, he, he, I don't think any of us thought that Johnny was a particularly gifted singer or, 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 a, uh, or, or a musician, but he was certainly charismatic and uh, he was an enormous performer. And I think all of us were looking at him and, and towards him for, for guidance. And, and, and he was a mentor, not only to the Deltones, but to a lot of the other pioneers around at that time. It's reported in this uh, article in the paper. He said, "You may boo me, you may throw things at me, but you all pay your money to see me because you love me." <laughs> that, that's so key, for, and, and, and and that's so much confidence that I think he charmed everybody around him, including uh, including record and and TV executives. They all uh, they were all charmed by Johnny O'Keefe. Uh, Pee Wee, did you get close to him as a person? Phil, I thought he was, I mean, I have fond memories of him, but he was rather enigmatic. He was very difficult to get very close to, and, uh, but he was, he was just exciting to be around. And uh, I remember many occasions, it didn't matter whether you, whether you were on stage or whether you were off stage, it, it, was always, uh, it was always exciting. Did he have a gigantic ego, Pee Wee? Well, I think you would have to have. Uh, and I, an ego that was well developed, and uh, because of just of the role he played. After all, he pioneered uh, the, that type of television show for young people, and uh, he went on there without a script and uh, and uh, and just w w winged it, you know. And and you, had, you needed lots of confidence for that. Well, that was the the one hour live television show, Six O'clock Rock, which I suppose you were involved in a bit. Yes, yes, we were. We, we were regulars on that show uh, with, with Johnny, particularly uh, in the in the early years. Uh, but that show, you know, only lasted three years on television. But it, it made such an impact, and he he made such an impact. But then, of course, he moved over to to the commercial channels and uh, and donned his uh, dinner suits and, uh, and and started to compete on his own show, the Johnny O'Keefe Show, and Sing 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 with uh, with Bandstand. And uh, he was in competition with Bandstand and tried to broaden his audience. Uh, you know, he always seemed to come across as a bit of a, a troubled soul to me, uh, Pee Wee. Well, uh, well, he was a troubled soul. Indeed, he was. And, and if you look at his background, you know, he came out of a, a Catholic school background. His father was a very, very successful businessman. And, uh, um, and, and of course, his brother went on to be very successful in, in, uh, in his occupation in, in law. And Johnny was the sort of black sheep of the family, you might say, and uh, all he wanted to do was entertain. After the initial wave of success died off, and he had a very bad car accident too later on, uh, did it change his personality? Did it affect him personally? I don't think it. I don't think it affected him a great deal. I don't think that had much to do with. Uh, with later on, I mean, he, he, all those the, the rumours about Johnny, uh, um, you know, using drugs, uh, um, uh, illicit drugs, and so forth, that all sort of came out a little later. I, I had no idea that uh, none of us did at that time. And in fact, we were so self-absorbed anyway, uh, we, we, we we wouldn't have cared. But um, but as I say, he, he was a very difficult man to know, and very very moody, and you were never too sure. Uh, what, what sort of mood he was going to be in. And, and he, he, he threw some, some quite famous tantrums uh, that uh, I experienced, and uh, they were uh, something to behold. Who did he sort of emulate? Was there, there, at the time, was there a star on the, uh, the American hit, uh, hit parade that uh, O'Keefe was attracted to, like a little Richard or... Someone said, well, I don't think I don't think it was Little Richard, but I'm sure all of us were all looking, you know, towards the King, Elvis Presley, and I think Johnny sort of developed the, the, that sort of uh, relationship with the Australian public as, as being the King of uh, 
of Australian rock and roll. So I guess we all look towards Elvis. And it's interesting to note that uh, I remember I remember that Elvis was involved with his uh, group, the Jordanaires, and, and, and who were a gospel group originally. And I remember Elvis was, uh, we used to do songs with his group, the Jordanaires, and do a lot of gospel songs. And in fact, that's what we did. I remember singing uh, songs with Johnny, A Closer Walk With Thee, and, and a lot of other uh, gospel songs. And we used to do them at parties and so forth. And, and he loved gospel music as well, which, which was similar to what Elvis was into. And that was the sort of background that he had. Yeah, very similar. Uh, how did you and J.O.K. come together? Did he sort of find you guys, or did you find him? Well, we came via, via the disc jockey of the day at the time, which was Bob Rogers, uh, who's still on radio, of course, an octogenarian. He's still, still up in Sydney doing his radio show, but it was Bob was the disc jockey of the day. And uh, we auditioned uh, with Bob to uh, try and land a, a recording contract. It was our only contact that we could think of. And then he introduced us to uh, Lee Gordon and to Johnny O'Keefe in uh, Lee Gordon's office. And that was the first time that we met him. Mm. And... Uh, and then we went on to perform with him and also the uh, the American uh, movie star Tad Hunter on the same show. Oh, yes. We did Tad Hunter's backups as well as Johnny O'Keefe's, and of course we recorded Shout with Johnny O'Keefe, which was uh, which was which was his signature tune. You know, didn't you barge into the Bob Rogers studio and sort of uh, do the audition on air and uh, an ad lib? Yeah, well, well, we did. Yeah, well, I think we Bob got a bit of a surprise, yeah. but. It was fortunate because Bob then, uh, after we'd auditioned with Bob, he called Lee Gordon and uh, on the phone between playing records and said, I've got your vocal group for, uh, for Tab Hunter. And we went immediately over to his office, which, wasn't, which was just across the road at Rushcutters Bay. <laughs> Terrific story. And uh, we thank you for your time tonight, Pee Wee Wilson, on the, uh, the event of this new book on Johnny O'Keefe. Well, I'm looking forward to reading it, guys, because uh, he was a, an interesting character, and there's, uh, there's a lot to be, as I said, to be learned from Johnny O'Keefe, a fantastic guy. It's a full credit to you and the, and the boys that they're still going strong and still, uh, still entertaining Sydney after 50 years. Yes, indeed, and of course in our show uh, we do pay tribute to Johnny O'Keefe and, uh, and uh, let the audience know just what an important character he was in Australian music and, and he was probably one of our most important uh, figures in, that, uh, in the history of uh, Australian uh, and, and Australian pop music yeah. heritage. Yeah. Let, let us know next time you're in Melbourne, we'll have another chat to you, Pee Wee. Always enjoy talking to you guys. Thank you very much. Pee Wee Wilson from the Deltones.